Zach's Know Your Options, a weekly overview of unique option strategies and ideas designed to help you beat the market no matter which direction it's going. Now we're going to see if we can try to help you understand Delta a little bit better when it comes to options. And we're going to do that with our options guru, Kevin Matris, who joins me now. Actually, we're going to try to help them understand Delta yep. as a key to option profitability. That is right. So key. that title tells me that this might be one of the main things that can really help increase someone's odds of success with options, is that true? Yeah, it, uh, it's one of the main ingredients to option success. And uh, I think too many people, when they make their option selection, I think they pay too much attention to the cost of the option, but they give very little regard to the delta. And I think when people are talking about options, I just don't think enough is said about it, mm -hmm. which is why we're going to be talking about it today. Uh, but very simply, delta essentially is a way to measure how much your option will increase or decrease based on the movement of the underlying stock. And just that explanation can tell you just how really important that is. Yeah, it does. It, it made me <laughs> listen. So how does it work? All right, so I got a bunch of slides, so check this out. Uh, the definition of delta is this. Definition is the percentage in option will increase or decrease in value in relation to the underlying stock. So for example, a delta of 0.6 or 60% means the option will move or change equal to 60% of the underlying stock's price change, mm -hmm. which means if you've got a $1 rise in the stock, that means the option should see a 60 cent rise in the option premium. If the stock fell by a dollar, well, then you should see the option decrease by roughly 60 cents. So that sounds pretty straightforward. Yeah, very straightforward, but there is another part that you really need to understand to, to really you know, grasp this whole delta thing. All right, help us out. All right, so check it out. The delta will change, which means it's either going to increase or decrease in general based on how in the money or out of the money your option becomes. So if a stock is trading at, let's say, $85, for example, and let's say you had a $95 out-of-the-money call option, let's say it had four months of time, uh, that option may have a delta of 41%. And just for kicks, let's say the option cost is 600 bucks. Okay. Okay? Now let's say the stock increased by $10. That means the out-of-the-money call option with a delta of 41% would have increased by $4.10, which is equivalent to $410, okay? So what you have to realize is that as your option gets closer to the money, right? The stock went up, your option is now closer to the money, mm -hmm. that delta is going to increase. So now your option is at the money, what, right? It was out of the money, now it's at the money. Mm -hmm. So instead of your delta being 41%, instead your delta is now, let's say, 60%. So now if that stock were to then increase by another $10, that option would now increase by another 60% of that $10, which means $6 or 600 bucks. So again, as the stock moves up, mm -hmm. and if you have a call option, your option now is getting closer to the money, and as it keeps going up, your option is now getting deeper in the money. Eventually, the further in the money your option gets, you may see your delta ultimately get to be 100%. Likewise, if you have a call option and the stock goes down, mm -hmm. now your option is moving away from being at the money. So now your delta is getting smaller and smaller. And what's interesting is that you know, if somebody were to buy an option and let's say they had a delta of 50%, all of a sudden that stock goes down, let's say it goes down quite a bit, so they think, okay, I've got a lot of time left on my option, I'm gonna, you know, I'll, I'll wait and see this stock go back up and now my option will get profitable again. But then when that stock goes up, they're wondering why their option is barely moving. It's because since that stock went down, their delta has now shrunk. Now that stock goes back up and their option has barely budged, and it's because of that lesser delta. That's why it's imperative to really understand delta and how it relates to your option. So then, help me out here, does the delta help you determine which option is the best one to buy 
based on what your outlook may be for a stock? It really is. I mean, you, you still have to take a look at the cost of the option. You do have to take a look at the amount of time you buy. But too many people, I think, they will load up on cheap options because they think to themselves, oh, I can get a ton of these options. But if the delta is, let's say, you know, 5% or 7% or 10%, mm -hmm. you're going to need to see a gargantuan move in order for that stock to ever get you into a profitable territory. Mm -hmm. So if, let's say, you're thinking, okay, I think the stock may go up 10 bucks or $7 or whatever, take a look at the delta. That will give you an idea as to what your profit potential will be, and then you can figure out, okay, I'm going to make X amount of dollars based on this delta, and I'm going to have to spend this amount of money to be able to get this option. This will help you put into perspective what your risk-to-reward ratio will be. So delta is the absolute, if there was one thing you had to understand with options, I would say delta is the most absolute critical component you need to learn. Once you can wrap your mind on delta, and I think it's pretty easy, that will increase your odds of making money in options. All right. There are other options-related articles to help you understand options better. And you can link to them right off of our homepage at zax.com. If you scroll down that homepage, you will see that options section. Those articles change frequently, so check back often. With Kevin Matris, I'm Terry Ruffalo with just more information to help you know your options.